Welcome everyone. The topic we are going to discuss today is the do's and don'ts of CV writing. If a successful interview gets you the job, then a successful CV gets you the interview. So, putting time, research and efforts in preparing a CV is definitely worthwhile. So come on, let's see the do's first. The do's of CV writing. Keep it short. As you know, conciseness is one of the seven C's of effective communication. And brevity is the soul of wit. So, say as much as possible in as few words as possible. Coming to the second point, customize your CV. Your CV should be tailor-made, means specifically customized to each position for which you are applying. Next point is, choose the correct CV type and format. You can choose to make your CV chronological, functional or a combination. Your CV should be professional and it must have following sections, that is, your personal details, academic credentials, work experience, skills, awards and achievements, hobbies and interests, etc. Choose headings that invite your readers' interests. Give examples demonstrating desirable personality traits like leadership, initiative, teamwork, etc. And when you give examples, just remember to give it in form of PAR statements. Now, what is a PAR statement? Let me tell you. P in PAR stands for project, means the duty or work assigned to you. A stands for action, which you took, means how you handled the given task. And R stands for the result, means what was the accomplishment. The next point is cite numbers. If you remember, concreteness is also one of the seven C's of effective communication. And how do you make your communication concrete? By supporting it with facts and figures. Let's see an example here. Here, in work experience column, the person has written, I analyzed competitive strategies for clients in the IT industry, data gathered and assessed profitability of strategies. Let's see how to change it to make it more effective. Here if you can see, the job position is now in boldface. We have used bullets and have done away with the personal pronoun I. And we have started every statement with action verb. And here if you can see, we have also used numbers. Means, if you were part of a team or if you were a leader, then how many members were there in the group? Give the number. You collected data by interviewing people. Then how many were there? Give the number. You assessed profitability. Also give how the results were used. So, the results were used in making a major decision. Now, that's how you make it more effective. Coming to the next slide, use action verbs and strong adjectives. Instead of using words like did or completed, use action verbs. Avoid repeating words or phrases. Also avoid self-flattering terms such as outstanding, excellent, highly skilled, etc. Let the reader decide it for themselves. And avoid using pronouns. As we have seen before, do not use pronouns like I, they, etc. Exclude data related to salary expectation because it's something which you need to discuss after the interview. References are usually omitted. You can state that references are available upon request. Be consistent with the layout and the grammatical style. So you have to be consistent with the layout uh, you have chosen. And if you have written your experience in simple past tense, then be consistent with that. Do not use present perfect, past perfect or any other tense. 
Proofread to remove all spelling, punctuation and grammatical errors. Have at least two people proofread your CV. Make your CV easy to read and graphically pleasing. Means it should have enough white space and clean lines. Put your name and email address on every page. If your CV has more than one page, put your name and email ID at the top of every page. Get your CV reviewed. You can ask your friend, counselor, teacher or senior to review your CV. Also, you can ask someone unfamiliar with your background to review your CV for clarity and effectiveness. So these were the do's of CV writing. Now let's see the don'ts of CV writing. Coming to the don'ts, the first is, do not make it too long. The ideal length of a CV is one or two pages. It can be more than that if you have vast experience or maybe in later part of your career or if you are in academia. The next point is, don't commit typographical, grammatical or spelling errors. That's important because it may ruin your impression. Next point. Do not make it hard to read. Means keep it simple with clean lines and white space. Do not make it too verbose. That is, avoid using jargons and acronyms unless essential. Don't skip vital information. Also do not include irrelevant information. Uh, that is, customize each resume to each position you seek. Of course, in, you will include education and work experience, but emphasize relevant experience, relevant skills, accomplishments and act activities. Coming to the next slide, do not make your CV obviously generic. Yes, tweak or customize each CV according to the job description, the roles and responsibilities attached to it. The next point, don't make it gaudy either. Yes, you don't have to make your CV too fancy. Use a good quality bond paper, but avoid using colored or glossy papers. Use conventional fonts like Arial, Times New Roman, or you can also use Century Gothic, Tahoma, etc. Keep font size between 10 to 12 points. Bold face should be used sparingly. And you should avoid underlining, but can use bullets to emphasize your credentials. Next point, do not make it static. How can you make your CV dynamic? You can make your CV dynamic by beginning every statement with an action verb. Avoid repeating words, especially the first word in a section. And last but not the least, do not forget to send a cover letter with your CV. Because if your cover letter manages to grab the attention of employers, they will read your CV. So it's very crucial. These were the do's and don'ts of CV writing. If you keep these in mind, you will definitely be able to write an effective CV, which will land you the job you have always wanted. Thank you so much.